This is Joshua up in Montreal. So I wanted to show you my uh, Sturmy Archer SXRK3 fat bike specific rear internally geared hub. So it's a three speed and it has the uh, the real traditional old fashioned but um, tried and true shifter chain that goes in the side of it. So I, I had it built into these these 20 inch by four fat bike rims. I love these little little uh, mini bikes because they're so tough. Um, thick 13 gauge spokes. So a lot of guys they either want to go on an electric bike as they build their, their rig. They either want to go for speed or if you're like me, I'm a big guy that moves fairly slow anyway. Plus I carry tons of cargo. Sometimes hundreds of pounds of cargo on a trailer. So I need uh, low end torque. So I'm running through a um, BBS HD at 30 amps with a 52 volt, volt battery. So I want high RPM and low gear. So I'm going to show you some of the cogs or some of the, co the, the rear gears that come with standard with the Sturmy Archer SXRK3. So I'm going to try to zoom in here. So here's the uh, 18 tooth that comes with it and a little Canadian quarter there for uh, for scale. So it's dished, which means it has that little imprint in the manufacturing process. So that's to help out with chain line. And if you can see, it's only a few millimeters difference. So if you're looking down your chain, super important uh, with a, with a mid-drive motor, because you want as little wear and tear on your drivetrain as possible. So it's dished, so you can flip it. You might not know which side you should choose until it's actually on there and you've got your motor humming. So to encourage a long-lasting drivetrain, I go with the dished. So there's the little 18 tooth that comes standard with the Sermi Archer hub. Now, what you can also get is the largest tooth that uh, uh, cog that Sturmy Archer makes and that's the 22 tooth so it's super cheap it's like I think it's like five or six bucks so for scale there's the 18 there's the 22 tooth you might have to alter your chain as you put this on so that's a good all, of, all around range there 22 tooth because it gives you good speed also, it gives you good low-end torque, being that it's so big. But, if you're like me, and you want even more torque, you go with a Big Daddy. So here's the custom-made 28-tooth cog. So there's some scale for you. 18, 22, 28. Look at that big Mamma Jamma. That has some poundage to it. It's amazing. So, all three are dished. So, depending on your mood, or your biking needs, you can go with whichever. So that's the big behemoth, fairly hard to find. So the one place that I found that makes them to fit the three tooth, the three spline to go on your hub, just like the originals from Sturmy Archer, is HollandBikeBikeShop.com. Holland Bikes, Bike Shop, rather, dot com. So it came uh, to Montreal, Canada within uh, within a week. So I'm going to slap that thing on there and see uh, if I'll have to alter my chain. I'm sure I will. When you go up to a higher, bigger cog, you're going to have to put a new chain on or combine two. But uh, super important, if you want high RPMs on your mid-drive, so to keep it healthy, to keep it as cool as possible, and uh, for some wheelie popping or some big time cargo towing. So that's what it is. So 18, 22, 28. That's the big daddy.